let's see. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Many of us, five of us to be exact, will be experiencing our first launch. I think we're just all excited to be here. There, yes, sir. I, I think I look at it as every shuttle mission has its own challenges and complexities. They're all complicated to me, and I don't look at one or a series of them as harder than the others. I think just every one has tremendous uh, potential pitfalls out there that we need to watch out for. Uh, starting here on my left is uh, Joni Higginbotham, and uh, to her left is uh, Bob Kerbeam, Nick Patrick, uh, Krista Fuglesang from uh, Sweden is our European Space Agency astronaut, and then uh, Sonny Williams, who will be remaining on board the International Space Station. We're only going to give her a one-way ride today, and uh, Billy Of Bill Ophelein on the end. So. Uh, Again, welcome, and uh, whatever questions you have, go ahead and... How does it feel being here, seeing all this after waiting for so many years? Oh, it feels wonderful. I'm actually, I'm, I've never been so close to shuttle is going to launch, nor physically, nor uh, kind of temporarily. So it feels fantastic. I start working for the Kennedy Space Center as a payload electrical engineer. I, you know, I think I have a little inside track as I used to work on shuttles for nine years. I know a lot of people that work on the shuttles and they are just very conscientious people. Either side, I knew this was So we're really not concerned about the nominal test, but if we run into some problems, some of the boxes don't power up like we expect, then uh, things really get interesting. We'll start earning our pay. Be awesome here. Yeah, it's That's amazing. amazing. I think it was when I was five years old and I watched the Apollo 11 moon landing on television with my parents and uh, I, I remember that and I think I've wanted to be an astronaut ever since then, although it's sometimes been on the back burner. I, there are other things I've wanted to do, dig up dinosaurs, um, design boats, all those things that kids want to do. That doesn't apply. Uh, for now, I've just been uh, looking at this space shuttle as uh, another flying opportunity, but I think once I'm floating around it, it'll seem a little different than the other airplanes that I've flown. I am half Indian, and I've got a, I'm sure, a group of Indian people who are looking forward to seeing the second Indian person of Indian origin uh, flying up in space. So it's nice to know that everybody brings along with them a group of people from all over the world that get interested in space. Okay, folks, thank you very much.